fucking hit me, bro. Do you know who hit me? A man hit me by a fucking waste collection of drugs, right? Stay away from motherfucking drugs. That's why your bumper is ugly as fuck. I got hit by a fucking waste collection truck last night and I need to give my car to the garage I literally have no fucking words for you guys like this accident was not my fault and I have two fucking reports from Dubai police and Rafid let me let me tell you guys what actually happened so I was going home, so this was in um, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road, it's a 311. It was like right when you enter 311, it, I was in front of Murdiff city center. And usually in that lane, it was in that exit, people are entering the, the, the highway and people are exiting the highway, highway as well. And mostly people who exit are like, um, okay, like, exiting towards Merdiff or like trucks big trucks and like if you guys don't know in Dubai the last three lanes or two lanes I really don't know the, the the rule or law about that but like I know that heavy vehicles heavy trucks can only be on the, the most right lane or like second most right lane the first two lanes I guess or the first three lanes I'm not really sure but they can't be on the left lane so this guy this fucking waste collection in that truck I was on my lane, right? I just entered the highway and I will, I will, I could already see because my dad taught me this. My dad taught me that if you could see from the from the other person's vehicle, from their tires, where they're fucking going. And every time I would be in a highway or in a road and people are changing their lanes, I watch their tires. I could already see this guy's tires moving to my lane. So I was already beeping at him. This was not a fast accident, you guys. This was a very slow kind of accident I was so I was already in my lane and obviously like I said people are exiting people are changing lanes so on to my right side people are just coming in entering the highway like me so I can't really move to the lane so what I did is I could see him I could I thought he was gonna stop I wasn't panicking at all you guys and if you know me I'm a person when I panic I scream I lash out like I just really scream so much and I wasn't panicking because it always happens. I'm usually calm in the road. Like, I'm a very confident driver. Hence why I haven't got in an accident in a year and what, two months? Uh, when you're confident and you know you'll be fine. Because confidence affects your driving, to be honest. So I'm a very confident driver. And you know what? I trust people on the road in Dubai. Like, it's so fucking difficult to get your license over here. So if you get your license, unless you fucking bought your license, bro, I don't know from where. Um, I'm pretty sure you would know how to drive a vehicle. So I trust people here. I trust drivers on the road in Dubai because like it's so fucking difficult to get your license over here. So even if it's close, I'm not gonna panic. I'm not gonna panic. I'm pretty sure you know how to fucking drive. So I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, I'm warning him that, hello, I'm here beside you, you know? And he's a truck. I'm pretty sure that he's not blasting music inside his car, like how I used to do, how I do all the time. I was beeping at him for so long, so long. There is no way I can move to the right lane. People are coming in. If I move to the right lane I, and, and I hit somebody, it's gonna be my fault. If I go straight and I hit that person it's in front of me, it's still my fault. So I was staying in my lane, trying to be calm, and I really thought that I passed him already and this guy was not stopping he moved to my lane and then I could hear my car the metal of my bumper slowly ripping apart I started screaming in my car screaming like fuck and I was holding my steering wheel because he was pushing me to the right side and I was fucking so scared like literally I feel like people are judging my car because of how the bumper is fucking disgusting right now anyways I was screaming inside my car I managed to accelerate a little just so it doesn't look like I moved to that I didn't want to accelerate because if the police comes and he tried to in investigate what the fuck happened I do not want to look like I'm the person who moved my lane so I just accelerated a bit to get to get my bumper out of his rear because he was literally tearing it apart I could hear it and like the painful I could hear my fucking 25,000 deposit just fucking going away I have put 25,000 of deposit in my car whatever 
this car it's all my fucking money so i was screaming so bad and like i told you guys i have anger issues the moment that i got out of that um the accident uh, the, i managed to get out of the the grip of his fucking uh, i don't know the front bumper of his car i literally put my car on part i even forgot to put hazard when you guys are in an accident and you stop in the middle of the road make sure you put hazard and i forgot about that so i put it on parking i put my parking brake up i literally removed my seat belt so hard this guy was gonna run away you guys i removed my seat belt so hard and then i managed to get out of the car before he fucking run away i was standing in front of his truck and i was screaming Dad, and he was just looking at me like I was an idiot. Like he didn't he didn't even realize that he caused an accident. And now I realize that he didn't see me. He didn't heard my beep. And he doesn't know what the fuck happened. Like why is this little fucking 411 midget bitch screaming in front of my truck? That's his, That was his look. He was not getting out of the car. So I took a photo of him in front of his car. Because he was re it was a really big truck. So I took up my phone and I was like... Be I, before I took up my phone and took a picture of him I keep asking him to get out of the car but he doesn't even understand what the fuck happened so this is when I realized that he doesn't know he hit me I was screaming and screaming to get out of the car I took a photo of him and his truck and his plate number finally I managed to get him out of the car he was outside and he was like so confused I was like you fucking hit me bro and then he, he doesn't speak English he's from Bangladesh and I, he was like so confused and I was like you hit me and he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna accept I, I know from his face he just keeps saying like this and I'm like you fucking hit me you in here move here my lane you hit me I was I was literally breaking down my English for him and then finally some oh my god uh, I don't know what this Arab guy's intention is he I don't know if I don't know it kind of gave me a wrong vibe but at the same time I was, I was really happy he was there he was an old Arab guy I don't know where he's from I think he's Syrian Lebanese I'm not really sure but he's like old like my dad he was so fucking sweet he managed to calm me down and he was like he was holding me he was holding my hand not like my arm like my hand he was like um calm down calm down and then that guy was not accepting his mistake finally this guy managed to say that i saw you it's your mistake your mistake he keeps saying he keeps saying it in bro broken english just so he can in understand he's like you mistake her lane lane you mistake police i call police and then the guy was not accepting it he was like listen to me uh he finally saw my driver's license and he started calling me sophia he was like listen to me sophia you call the police, file it on Rafid, or call the police. I will be your witness. Give me your number. I gave him my number and he gave me his number. And then he kept telling this guy, we we finally moved to the other side of the road. He's like, move to the other side of the road. And I was like, fuck yes, I'm supposed to do that. Then finally I got in my car and I was so scared that he's going to run away. So that Arab guy was like, I know you, I know your plate number, don't run away. It's your mistake. Move to the right side of the road. So we moved to the right side of the road. I am, I am so i'm shaking so bad you guys i am messaging my friends i am shaking so bad i don't know what to do thankfully thankfully when i got my car everybody keeps saying download the rafid app download dubai police app this are application that i already have on my phone even even i mean this is this is just for accidents you know so i have it on my phone even though i promise that i will never get into an accident but you never know what happens right it's like taking out an insurance you want to get a comprehensive insurance because you never know what's gonna happen so thankfully i also have a comprehensive insurance so we managed to get to the side of the road and then i was explaining again to him your mistake your mistake i'm calling the police he's like police come police come when i said police that's when he started getting really scared you know so i'm trying to make him understand that i am not trying to get you in trouble i just need you to accept your mistake so finally that arab guy um that Arab guy explained to him that I am a witness here. You have to accept your mistake because um, uh, when she, when you don't, you don't accept, we will go to police station. I'm witness. Then he accepted it, and then uh, I managed to file the um, the accident in Rafid. So, but I managed to file it on Rafid. But yeah, basically he fucking hit me, guys, and it was, it was. So so fucking painful like seriously like bro i know my car is so fucking ugly i'm really really sorry for cutting you off he's probably like this is why your bumper is ugly as fuck but anyways like i know that i may seem fine i am not 
literally but everybody keeps saying that just thank god that you are okay that this is not a bad accident and i do i really thank god but this is such a slow and painful accident it is not a fast accident guys this is an accident that is slow and painful and you could hear your fucking baby dying this is my car this is my first ever car my money and i worked so hard to get this car and what the actual fuck i am I'm a very confident and I may not be like a super safe driver. I may be reckless at times. I speed all of this. Most of my fines are speeding. But I know how to avoid accidents. I know I know the road rules. I know when to stay in my lane, when to change my lane. I know when I'm right and when I'm wrong. So the fact that I got into an accident and it's not even my fault. If it was my fault, I would have been like, fuck, you are so fucking stupid. Accept your mistake. Apologize. Pay your fines. I'm at work right now. This is not what I'm like fully wearing. I have a blazer on, but it's too early. I went to work because I called my insurance company. Can you guys see my ass over there? It looks so good. Um. Anyways, I called my insurance company and they said that bring it from 10 to 12 for inspection because if I go to the garage and the car is in a moving condition, they're not gonna accept it. And my car is still moving. It is flapping though. It's really cold in here, so I had to wear my blazer. But anyways, like I said, um, so I called the insurance company and they were like, go get it um, and drop it to the insurance um, branch. So they're gonna have to inspect it. So it's gonna be from 10 to 12. So I'm gonna go there for lunch. And I think it's just gonna take 10 minutes for them to inspect and then I have to wait for the insurance approval and then that's when I can give it to the garage. But the thing is, driving my car right now is really difficult. I can't go beyond 80 because the back is flapping and when I open my trunk, it's like the bumper is falling off. So I don't know what's gonna happen to that. I don't think it's like a very, for me obviously, it looks like it's a very big damage. But then if you're a car person and you look at it, it's just that it's just the plastic, like the metal part outside. Like I don't think my tires are damaged. Anything internally is, is damaged. So it's just the outside. So I just want to make sure that they get the job done. I really have no oh by the way i went to kia i went to my insurance house so i'm just waiting for the approval because i need the claim number to get my replacement car kia was fucking quoting me seven thousand five hundred for a what like i know i know that they're just doing that because like obviously it's kia like they're doing it like it i know it they're doing it because it's expensive and i know getting a car replaced like the parts is expensive while this guy is just staring at me like literally but anyways i'm having my breakfast because i'm so freaking hungry i'm having sausage mcmuffin i'm having a latte and i'm having a hush brown but yeah i need to get gas as well i'm just waiting for that queue to like be over but i think it's too much of queue but yeah um insurance approval will take approval will take tomorrow maximum monday so when I get the approval, I'll get my replacement car and then when I get the approval, I'll give it to the garage. But let me see how much they're coating because I don't want to get scammed. I'm on the way home right now and I swear to God, I fucking hate getting stuck in the traffic right now because of how embarrassing my car looks like. Anyway, I survived this day and I'm so fucking drained. Uh, I'm just so tired from thinking of what I'm going to do with my car, if the insurance is going to approve it ASAP. Uh, this is so fucking stressful like literally I already have so many things going on in my life and that fucking motherfucking truck had to fucking hit me anyways uh, maximum Monday for the approval um, the guy said so they'll be sh giving me the quote of how much they're gonna be repairing my car for so hopefully soon enough because I really really I just I need my car bro like I know they're gonna give me a replacement but I just I want to drive my own car bro what the fuck anyways like I know people like who pass by me right now they're probably like oh this is a girl for sure bro I would like to fucking tell you something do you know who hit me a man hit me ask me whose mistake it is I'm gonna slap the accident report to your fucking face it is not even my fault so what if I'm a girl like I know men do this all the time 
bet she's a girl, bet that the driver is a woman, bet the driver is a female. Fuck you, bro. Literally. Okay, so we are in the area in Rashidia where all of the garages are. This is like in front of a uh, festival center. So I'm like 400 meters away. I'm just, where the heck is this garage? Oh, okay, I have to think that right there. got my car fixed you guys it's a saturday evening it's 5 p.m i just picked up my car from the garage and i'm satisfied with the work and honestly but uh i'm just a girl so is it good is it not i'm not really sure in terms of the parts as well but then i was knocking on it it seems i mean really good to me um they even polished my hood for me for free because i had like bird poop stain like i said like in my parents place they don't do bird control over there so like when the bird poop stain you don't remove it and it's there for a while you remove that there's a stain and it's not gonna get off of your paint so they polished my hood they removed the paint under my door my passing my driver's door and the passenger behind my door like when I was new at driving, like I think I was sneaking out at 2 a.m. to meet my ex-boyfriend. My parents know this. Uh, I was driving so fast to get out of the parking lot and then I hit the curb and the paint scratched on the below door. Uh, my mom is calling me. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got my car now, thankfully. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys a video again of how it looks like. I shot it on my iPhone, but then I'm gonna take, try taking it as well in this camera so you guys can see it. But a week without a car, God, my gosh! Literally a pain in the ass. And by the way, last week weekend, I was planning to go to the beach and I couldn't because I didn't have a car. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, I'm definitely satisfied satisfied with the work, but I'm just a girl. Don't trust me for it. I don't know if they did a good job or whatever, but the garage that I went to, I chose that by myself and they have really good reviews. And you guys saw from the previous clip that there were like guys who was inspecting my car from the insurance company. Those were guys from the garage that they want me to go with, but then I really don't trust them. It's either they don't have enough Google reviews or like the reviews are really bad or like they're new. So I don't wanna trust that, but Bobby Garage where I went it's really amazing they have good uh, reputation especially in terms of insurance so they do a good job in insurance work because I'm not really sure some garage I think they just prefer to do insurance job and other it's like you come there for your personal work but Bobby garage has a lot of like insurance job reviews so that's why i went with them but anyways that is it for this video thank you so much for watching me struggling me dying my heart broken and you guys see my car my ass being wrecked bro uh that's it thank you guys for, so much for watching and piece of advice stay away from motherfucking trucks and drive safe bye